Hello guys and welcome back to another video with me Slivers FX and this Gothic 2 returning New Balance mod. Today we are going to be acquiring a rhetoric points. A lot of people have been asking for this because they have trouble getting them as soon as they start the game and when they get to chapter 2 or 3 or even 4 they don't have the amount they need for certain quests to be um, appropriate. So we're gonna go and see how many we can gather in chapter one there's more than we can probably do but i'm gonna go from one to 53 points in this uh, video the first one obviously is already at the start with the higher runes page in xardas's tower once you read it you get your first rhetoric point the second one is when you meet the bandit jesse and you tell him that you were actually a convict in the mining colony and you were there together so he doesn't actually try to kill you with the other bandits that are already inside the cave. Third one is, as soon as you approach Slobart, he asks you, are you for king or the peasants? And you obviously say for the peasants and you get your third rhetoric point. Fourth one is inside his house on the bookshelf right on the right side. As soon as you read it, you get your fourth rhetoric point. Next up is the gate guard. Once you tell him you are bringing some herbs for Constantino, the fifth one appears. Number six is one of the trickier ones. If you want to talk to Darren, get rid of your gold first. Ask him why is he here in the city, coming from the monastery. Tell him you're poor and you will also get 20 gold plus one rhetoric point. Where do you... What do you do? I have but I am poor. So but this one is with Rangar, the city guard. Hey, what's up? And he's supposed to take care of the orcs that are outside the city. If you gave him a beer or two in this case, he will tell you a bit more and you also get your next rhetoric point, which is the seventh one in a row. There's no point giving him more beers after the second one because he won't tell you anything new. Just a little tip. Number eight. Next up is Mo at the port tavern when he asks you what you're doing there you choose the second option and you will get your number eight Calm down. Okay. number nine is inside the tavern with cardiff you don't want his information that badly so you choose twice to ignore him and you say you don't want the, the information and he will give you your next rhetoric point. Once you ask him also about a special job, you go to Nagur and you tell him that you're partners and it's 50-50, you get your 10th rhetoric point. This one is split into parts. When you talk to Koregan in the upper tavern, he will tell you that visitors have been disappearing because there's free beer on the market. As well as Farim is having trouble with a militia and paladins taking his fish for absolutely free, so you decide to help him. How do you help him? Well, you go to Martin, and he will solve both of those problems, giving you the number 11 and number 12 rhetoric point. Baron the fisherman has problem. Next up is on Echo's farm between two brothers that are working on the field. And once you have concluded the dialogues, the last one that you should choose is with Ingram, saying that he should talk to his brother himself, and you will get the 13th rhetoric point, 
even though that <laughs> they will fight each other and they won't talk to you afterwards ever again. Unless you use the Oblivion uh, spell, of course. I think that you bad I'll do. Why don't you tell him yourself? I'll do. This one is inside the monastery. If you jump in before you actually have a quest to go in and you go to the monastery, Parlan will try to talk to you because you have breached the wall. If you have 10 rhetoric points already, you can gain another one by talking to him and saying that you don't know what you were doing and he will give you a chance with another quest to repel your sins. Once you kill the bandits near Echo's farm, you also find a piece of paper that belongs to Halvor. You agree to help him and not report him to the militia and you will get your number 15 rhetoric point. This next one is a quest from Vatras and his stolen diary. Once you get that quest, you go to Cassia, who knows who stole the diary for 15 rhetoric points. You will get another one, making it 16. You will need 20 to go to Ramirez afterwards, however. Number 17 is in the carpenter's house in the book stand right on the left side when you enter. Number 18 is with Greta before you become an apprentice with one of the masters. Matteo will ask you to bring his money back that Greta borrowed from him. And since Greta doesn't have any money, you will just sell her clothing instead. But she gives you the gold nonetheless. So you get your 18th rhetoric point. This is the treasury of the monastery, and uh, there are some valuable stuff in here, including a book called Dragon's Mouth, which is the third bookshelf from the left side. Once you read that, you will get your 19th rhetoric point. There are also some book stands under the, uh, the monastery. And uh, here you can pick up two additional rhetoric points if you read at least three of them. You cannot read the fourth one because it's blocked by the paladin and the other fire mage. But here we go with 20 and number 21 rhetoric point. 22, we go to Matteo and buy the Lyrics of Mertana book and we just read it to get our number 22. Hmm. Interesting. Number 23, once you become an apprentice, you can go to the upper quarter and the guard won't let you in unless you become a citizen in the first place, you get your number 23. Galahad will have a few quests available. Once you go to the upper quarter, you can talk to all the influential citizens. Uh, Fernando will ask you to get a textbook rhetoric, which is in Galahad's house. You get it, teleport out, and get five additional rhetoric points, making it a total of 28. One of the other quest that Galahad also has is with the Brandt and this little stranger in the Dead Harpy Tavern. If you get all the dialogues correct, you will also receive another rhetoric point. You decide not to fight the stranger because he is an assassin and in early game he can actually kill you pretty easily. Either way, choose the I don't want to give myself up you will rather fight, but he won't fight you anyway. So this is number 29. Let's go for number 30. Number 30 is with Ramirez and Vatra's Diary, part number two, I suppose. Uh, you need 20 rhetoric points in the first place to talk to Ramirez about it, so he can give it to you for free. And you'll also get another rhetoric point right there.
Here we are at Secops Farm talking to Bronco. We are going to give him the first five gold because he's asking for them. And then we're going to go to Till and ask about Bronco. And we're going to demand money for beating him up and putting him back to work. So make sure you choose the I want more every single time you can until it goes to the very end. Maybe I do you mean that? Okay. No problem, but I want all right. I want dirty. I want maybe. I want all right. I want more. Okay. And then just go right, beat him up. I can do, but hurry up. <laughs> this one is with Bengar and Balthazar Sheep being on Bengar's farm. You have to complete the mercenary quest of beating up the militia first, talk to Bangar about it, and then go to Balthazar, and then back to Bangar to receive this rhetoric point. Number 33 is on the book stand of the alchemist in the upper quarter. And uh, it's pretty straightforward, so just go there and read the book stand. Number 34 is with Constantino and his books. He has two books available from the very start. You can buy them off and make sure you do read them. We have wine recipes and the other one is uh, Divine Energy Star. You also get quite a bit of intelligence doing this, so if you're going to be a mage, make sure to do that. I'm going to also buy a sure. book from Bosper called Hunt and Prey. Even though there are book stands around town that have the same thing, you still want to buy this book because it gives you one rhetoric point, making it a total of 36. Salandral also has four books. I bought all of them even though not all of them gave me a rhetoric point one didn't out of the four which is this one magic ore the other three of course they did so we got to a total of 39 rhetoric points i also spent probably like 5,000 gold just here Number 40th is inside Lutero's house, a book that is on one of his tables. Once you read it, you get an additional rhetoric point. The book is called Elementary Arcanum. This little house near Lothar also has a book stand in the second room, so make sure you get to it without anybody uh, noticing you. You will get your number 41 rhetoric point. Next up, we are again in the monastery, and I got access to the library here. And the book at the very corner gives you another rhetoric point right here. And the one that's uh, normally next to Pyrocar in the chapel will also give you a second one. If you are part of the Necromancer Guild, uh, Xardas will tell you to get some manuscripts from this room over here. He will also give you a key. What he doesn't tell you is that there is a book inside this chest that also gives you plus one rhetoric point. Secrets of Astronomy. Becoming Xardas' pupil also unlocks certain uh, trading options with him. He has seven books in total. Six of them which give intelligence, and one of them gives a rhetoric point. If you've completed Galahad's uh, quest line with getting four letters of recommendation, you can then talk to Larius while he's outside to give him the bundle of papers for an additional rhetoric point. At that, when Galahad's outside, once he becomes a mage again, he also has a book in his inventory, actually two of them, that will give you one rhetoric point. Not each, but 
just one uh, in total. I tried buying both of them, but one gives you only intelligence. Part of the Necromancer questline is also the uh, book that Sardas is trying to acquire called The Unnecessary Path. Galahad, of course, has it, and since you helped him, you only need to give him a powerful elixir, which is of strength, and he will give you the book. Also in the room where he is, there are two book stands. One gives you an additional rhetoric point, as you should also read the unnecessary path that he just gave you for one more, making it a total of 49. Are you mad? It's too dangerous. If you made your journey with Laris to Satoras and you have at least 15 rhetoric points, you have an option to choose the your plan that wouldn't have never have worked. You will get one more rhetoric point, making it a total of 50. This one is in the Red Lantern with Bromar, and it's part of the quest with Skip getting a woman to dance for him at the beach. If you have 20 rhetoric points, you will lower his price from 2,000, I think, or 2,500 down to 1,000, and you will also get one additional rhetoric point. Constantino later also gets one more book as soon as you become a mage or I believe any guild counts. And if you buy that book, you will also get one additional rhetoric point. The book is called Arcanium Golem. The second quest with the Merchant's Guild is with Gorex and getting the wine for Lutero. If you have 50 rhetoric points already, you will get an additional one easily by uh, buying the 25 bottles of wine from him for just 50 gold. And that's it. We are now at 53 rhetoric points. You know you can get probably to about 70. But hey, play at your own pace and uh, enjoy the game, guys. If you enjoyed the video, click like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.